Well, at this time of the year, the champagne and the bubbly comes out, and one of the fun, most uh, extreme methods, I guess, of opening your champagne bottle is with a sobrage method. And I've got my friend Sommelier, Grape Expectations, Jake Richards here. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to my backyard yeah. with your sword, with your cutlass. Uh, it's, a, it's a technique that dates to the Napoleonic era, uh, and it's a great thing to do at parties, but I advise always use caution and be safe about what you're doing. So what's this technique, Jake? This is essentially you're playing with the how the bottle has been made. So you have three seams essentially. You have one running up and down each side of the bottle. I don't know if you can see that. And then there's a seam at the neck of the bottle. So you're just really manipulating the construction of that. And uh, the atmospheric pressure in the bottle helps to kind of just right, right. help the you checked out. everything yeah. out. Exactly. So we're ready to give this a try. Okay, we're ready, we're ready to give this <laughs> we, a try. We, we've kind of gone over the basics, but we'll, we'll run through it again quickly. So if you take the bottle, uh, what you want to do, remove all of this foil off the top. Everything. Because uh, you don't want that to, to stop the, the flow of the saber as it's going along the side of the bottle. Now we'd have to stress too that this is something that uh, really trained people should be focusing on doing. Um, it's a great party trick, but yeah. you've done this several times and you have a little bit of technique and training behind you. Right, and definitely make sure you do it outdoors. Yeah. Uh, you don't okay. want little shards of glass uh, getting picked up by your feet throughout the course of the year. Oh, you've seen people do this with ice skates, you've seen people yeah. do this with uh, the bottoms of a wine glass. Right. Yeah, CD cases. Uh, CD yeah. cases. Yeah. Alright, so we just want to make sure that's all cleaned up so the knife right. slides well along right. the... Exactly. And then what we're going to do um, is we're not completely taking the wire cage off. We're, okay. just, we're loosening it and bringing it up to the other lip, and then we're going to retie it. This is uh, only because if you tap the bottle with enough force, but not enough force to make it come out, uh, the cork will fly out, and you're kind of okay. you're not getting your, your saberage properly. So. Well, I'm really scared to do this because I don't want to lose the cork. Okay, I think. Sorry, as long as it's nice and cold too, I think we did we mention that. Make sure that the, the sparkling wine that you're using is very, very cold. Uh, I'll let you do that. Also, additionally, you want to um, a wine that's gone through second fermentation in bottles, so champagne or cava, and a lot of it has to do with the, the bottle. I find that these Frisian A bottles work really, really well for this. So, okay, so we're set. So if you tap that and the cork comes out, it's not going out all the way. It's just, okay. And then uh, gives you a second right. chance for this. A second chance. <laughs> and uh, you've got a special blade here. Uh, I've seen it done with swords, like a full swashbuckling kind of pirate uh, saber, but this is a shorter version of that, yeah, I guess. This is uh, Lyon. This is uh, a tool just specifically for this purpose. Now, if you don't have one of these, what you should you use? You can use uh, like a nice, sturdy kitchen knife, Chef's knife. but the dull end. Yeah. Well, you see this, that's the part that we use for right. this, but it's not sharp at all. Um, okay. okay. Especially if you're someone to tell us, you get them really angry if you ruin one of their good knives. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we found a seam there. Okay. And there's one up each side of the bottle, so you want to look for the one that's most prominent. That looks pretty good to me. All right. Well, now what? So now you want to take the, the knife or whatever you're using and keep the blade parallel. It's not so much the chopping motion as yeah. a nice slide, fluid slide exactly. Okay. And then get, once you get a feel, do those a couple times, and then the okay. third one, you want to just snap your your elbow straight out. Okay. Through out. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So I'll do a little test. One, two, three. I guess better not do that. One, two. Bravo! Perfect! Success! It's a beauty! And then the, because of all the pressure in the bottle, any glass shards are out of there. And another reason with the Frisier, because it is a black bottle, it kind of just helps people, they, they don't see the black chunks uh, in there. Right, right, okay. right? <laughs> well there we go! It's a Sabrage, Sabridge. Great way to open your champagne bottles, but again, uh, we advise uh, having a seasoned and trained sommelier like Jake Richards from Grape Expectations take you through this process. Happy New Year! Ah, no glass. <laughs>